most people have had previous training in infection control. The majority of people today are from support and care in the community, some people from residential and other settings. But um, we're, we're kind of going to touch on all of the different settings. Um, so we should, you know, if there's any questions, that's what I should say is that if you put them into the chat, we're going to have a question and answer session at the end and, and we can go through any questions or specifics that, you, that you'd that you like to. And what we can't answer will signpost you in the right direction. Okay, um, I'm going to launch a PowerPoint now. And I'll take you through that. As Okay, so today we're talking about infection prevention and control, specifically in relation to um, COVID-19, which is obviously a very current situation. The learning outcomes for today are we're going to look at what a pathogen is, we're going to understand the chain of infection and what we need to do to break that. We're going to look at the importance of good hand hygiene, and I can't stress enough the, how, how big a part this can play in the stopping of spread of infection. We're going to look at the importance of standard infection control um, precautions in your day-to-day -day practice and also the extra transmission-based precautions that are in place when there's an infectious disease, um, which is COVID at the moment, COVID-19. We're going to understand the legal requirements of PPE and what it is you should be wearing, when you should be wearing it. And we're going to look at how we put on and take off PPE. Putting on of PPE is more of a, a technical thing, but the taking off of PPE is really important to stop um, cross-contamination. Okay, so we will be looking at a video of that towards the end of the session today.